Hi, everybody. Chris Lyon here with another great interview with Film Prize. Uh, but before we get started, I just want to remind everybody about uh, the festival dates that are coming up. Film Prize is going to be Thursday, September 30th through October 2nd. That's when the screenings are going to be. But of course, Prize Fest is actually much larger than that. We've got film, food, music, fashion, and comedy. The festival starts September 24th and runs all the way again through October 2nd. And then, of course, the awards ceremony on October 3rd. So go over to pricefest.com. You can check out the, uh, the schedule of events. You can check out the artists and their work as they prepare for competition. And of course, you can buy your tickets. I do want to remind everybody that as you are looking at those events and buying tickets, that Prize Fest is uh, an event that is going to require either a negative COVID test or proof of vaccination in order to, uh, to, be enter, uh, to enter into the festival. So um, make sure you have those things in order as you are planning your Prize Fest journey. Um, of course, for those of you who uh, aren't able to attend in person or would rather stay home, you'll be able to view all 20 films at prizefest.com and vote, the key part there. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can choose that option there as well. We have a lot of really great new events and venues that are out there. So go to prizefest.com and check those out now. Uh, so there's nothing less to, left to do except to bring in our guest, Virginia Tucker. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Hello, thank you. This is awesome. We're really glad that you're here, and I want to just dive right in and, and get you to talk a little bit about your film. Tell us what it is and give us a little preview, a little log line. Yeah, Touched is a nine-minute short, and it's all about a young woman opening up about her past sexual assault, uh, sexual assault when she starts to fall in love. And the movie is all about hope. It's all about taking that first step of talking to someone when you've been through something hard. Uh, we never show the actual event itself. This movie is really about the healing journey uh, that people go on after and just encouraging people to find a person in their life that they can share with if they've ever been through something like that. Absolutely. An, an incredibly important topic. Uh, how did you arrive at telling this uh, story for your short film? Yes, I, um, myself and other people involved in the film, we have a personal connection to the story, uh, whether it's a close family member or friend or someone we know that's been sexually assaulted. Uh, we just wanted to make a story about hope because uh, I truly believe there's always hope no matter what you go through in life. It doesn't mean that you can't come out on the other side of that stronger um, and uh, able to help other people. So it was a cathartic experience making this film and we hope that when people watch it, it will also just give them hope and uh, encourage them as well. Absolutely. And so you talk about the people that you've collaborated with on this project. I know that uh, Maddie Nichols, for example, is no stranger to the prize. Uh, she's yes. been in uh, films before, um, but who else is uh, working on your show? Yes, Jensi Hogan, who's actually one of the other nominated directors, is my executive producer, and she just is a close friend and uh, just literally made this movie happen. I went into 2020 saying that I wanted to make a short, and then a global pandemic happened, and she was uh, stalled finishing her feature, and uh, she just came alongside me and just said, let's do this. And I got to make it with my friends and it was just an amazing experience. Right, and how was it kind of making that production happen during these uh, difficult times? Oh my goodness, <laughs> it was wild. I was intimidated, I won't lie. Uh, but then once I got into it, I just found that the creative community, you know, we all come together to hopefully create something beautiful and that was what happened on this set. I think in the midst of so much uncertainty in this world, we got to come together and just make something inspiring for people. And everybody just knocked it out of the park. Every single role was so essential. We had a tiny crew, all that, very indie. And um, each person just showed up and shared their artistry. And it was awesome. That's fantastic. That's the kind of community that we certainly love here at the Film Prize. And, and speaking of, how did you find out about the Film Prize? Was it, was it Gen C introducing you to that or was there some other uh, mechanism that, that kind of brought your attention, brought Film Prize to your attention? Yes, it was Gen C. Also, um, another actress that's in my film, Lo Graham, 
also spoke highly of the prize. I think they attended together in 2018 for Gen C short that now is a feature. Um, and they just said they had such a blast and I was just so excited about it. I was like, what is this amazing <laughs> festival in Louisiana? Um, yeah, I'm from Louisiana and uh, yeah, th she told me about it. And so I was just excited to jump on board. I also know Alexander Jeffrey and I also know Haley as well, uh, who made Bamboo House. I actually help out at Gen C's acting school sometimes in Baton Rouge. And Haley is one of her students that I got to teach acting classes with. And we were just encouraging uh, them to make their own films. And then she went out and did it. So I'm just so happy to be alongside all these other filmmakers this year. It's really exciting. Well, we're excited to welcome you to the ranks. Um, I know you've never been to Prize Fest before, but uh, as you are kind of coming up here and experiencing that, of course, one of the things that's uh, inescapable is being outside of a theater and watching people come out, having just watched the movies, they're yeah. chattering about which ones they like. And let's just put a thought experiment out there. You're standing outside of the theater and you hear someone talking about Touched. Um, what is it that you kind of hope that they uh, are talking about or hope that they've taken away uh, from this um, film. I know you talked about hope and you've talked about, you know, understanding uh, the connection there, but if you're thinking about that and other things, what would you most like to hear people talking about? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this movie, it's about so many things. It's about sisterhood um, also as well. And I guess I would just, I would want them to just walk away just feeling hopeful that no matter what you go through, uh, we all need somebody to share with. I mean, this past year, we all have been through hard things. And I know so many of us have soldiered on and put on a brave face, but it is so important to find those people in your life that you can be real with and be honest and be raw and vulnerable and messy. And, um, you know, conversations like that, I, I value so much in my life. And so I hope this film maybe starts conversations for other people of just opening up, whether it's uh, the topic that the movie's about or it's something else, uh, just opening up and feeling like we can all be messy and raw and vulnerable because what is life if we can't <laughs> just be ourselves and you know find that person to lean on in this crazy time we're living in. Right, yeah, I mean, it, it is one of those things I think we all have taken an opportunity to, to look and say, you know, is the is the personality that I'm putting out into the world um, the one that best represents me? Do people know me? Who are my friends? Right. And I and that this time, as if there's a silver lining in it, it has been an opportunity for introspection and to find uh, those friend groups that are that are really true. Yeah. Um, and, and I would I would love to kind of um, explore with you some of your uh, production stories. Um, mm -hmm. You know, as you were on set and you have a, a small crew, were there any moments? Uh, where things were just going absolutely wrong or maybe a time where things were going absolutely right and you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, give, it, give us a little inside details. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, it was. I mean, I, we had an absolutely bare bones crew. We had a 75% female crew, which was very cool. That just kind of happened. I mean, I always wanted that, but it just ended up happening, which was amazing. amazing have an amazing cinematographer named Aaron Hogan, who's Gen C's husband and just a great group. And yeah, I mean, it was just a situation where if any person couldn't show up or <laughs> gotten COVID, I, you know, we would have figured it out, but it would have been hard because, you know, you have to get everybody tested and all of that. I think another funny story that happened was I, <laughs> we were trying to make, crafty as safe as possible and so we put everybody's snacks in like a little party bag sure. and um I know some people they needed more food than that and I was like I'm so sorry I tried to I tried to pack it full of snacks and luckily my mom showed up and saved the day and brought a giant bowl of jambalaya so basically my mother probably <laughs> saved my film <laughs> that's all hey look a hot meal is really all a crew uh really right. so, that's awesome so I wanna uh, do another little thought experiment here. So we're, let's say we've gotten through the whole festival. Um, you've talked to people about your film, you've had a good time, um, but we're sitting at the awards ceremony now and up on stage uh, out walks a giant uh, check with a veil over the front of it. 
and uh, the, the envelope is torn open and the veil moved aside and the film, a winning film, it says touched on it. What is your reaction and what do you do with that $25,000? Yes, uh, I would be so honored to win that. If I did win that, I would put it towards making the feature of this short. I have just gotten an overwhelming response from this short. I think, you know, you, you hope to write something that resonates with people and you never know, right? You hope it will, but you really don't know. And the response has just been overwhelming. So many people connect with this story. So many people have been through this topic and just some people have never even opened up ever in their whole life. Um, and I'm just finding that it's really resonating with people. And so I am planning to make the feature and have been working on that. So if I won the 25,000, I would absolutely put it towards making the feature and we would absolutely shoot it in Louisiana. I had the time of my life shooting in Baton Rouge where my family's from and never thought I would be making a movie there. And um, yeah, I'd go back and make the feature and uh, just keep making movies. That sounds amazing. I, that, uh, nothing excites me more than uh, filmmakers, you know, to making a short and going on and making a feature, whether it's of that or something else. Um, and $25,000 would certainly go uh, a long way into the development of uh, the, at least the beginnings of raising the money for that feature film. Um, so that would be really great. Of course, we're all rooting for you. Thank um, you. So before we uh, close out, because we're getting toward the end of our time, I uh, wanted to give you an opportunity to uh, give the audience a little pitch why they should vote for your film. Uh, of course, the film will speak for itself, uh, but if you gave them a little something extra uh, as a reason why they should choose you or your film, what would it be? Yeah, uh, I mean, first of all, choosing our film, you're sewing into the next generation of female filmmakers. As an, I've been an actress for 10 years, and during that time, I've only worked with two female directors. I've worked with some amazing male directors as well, but obviously having women in this space too, you're just going to see different stories. So sewing into our projects, voting for us uh, is just sewing into that, and I want to do that with, you know, the next films I make as well. And uh, yeah, it would just be uh, just choosing a story that's about hope. And, um, you know, who said dramas have to, you know, not give us a happy ending or, or not give us something to walk away with where we feel renewed and uh, uh, excited about life. So that is what I hope you feel when you watch our movie. So I hope you enjoy it. Buy tickets, bring your friends, watch online, and support the prize and support Touched. All right, that's uh, that's going to close us out. Uh, thank you so much for uh, giving us all the details um, and all the encouragement to see for and vote for your film. Um, before we leave, we're going to do a Viva La Film Prize. Uh, mm -hmm. If you if you've ever done that before, you know, is do one, two, three Viva La Film Prize. Shout it out. Uh, so we'll do that if you're ready. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. One, two. Three. Viva la film. Great job. All right. Thanks so much, Virginia. Good luck. Thank you.